Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Co Main from Basics video 3. Uh, in my last video, I was discussing about with the Cobalt language and uh, how, it, how the structure of the Cobalt language and uh, what are the different divisions it has. Just to recap it, uh, Cobalt language is a is to build program. So any program is mainly divided into four divisions, which are identification division, environment division, data division, and procedure divisions. And in further for the going to this every division is further divided into section then sections to paragraphs then paragraphs to sentences and sentences to statements or uh, commands or instructions or verbs okay today in my video i would uh, be discussing about about what is data and what are the data divisions what are data types what is picture class and what are level numbers this would be very helpful while uh, coding in a cobol program so let's go ahead and start with what is exactly a data and also apart from this uh, we will also discuss about declaring a variable and the sample variable declaration okay in order to start with the first section what is data exactly uh, we know that uh, data is very important in our day-to-day -day life activities so data can be divided into a temporary data and a permanent data right Temporary data is a data which is existing for a while, uh, for a certain period of time. Permanent data is, it's uh, if it it is to keep permanent, it is to store permanent the data. Uh, let's talk about the data division. Data division application is nothing but which is divided into temporary or permanent data. What exactly the permanent data? Data which is available only during programming execution. This is coming into the technical terms permanent data which is available after completion of program right so talking about uh, data division what uh, data division further divided into data division is further divided into file section then working storage section and the linkage section so let's talk about what is exactly the working storage ex uh, section it consists of data names or variables uh, data names or user defined data uh, user defined names must be formed the following roles a uh, should consist of 1 to 30 alphanumeric characters okay next should contain at least one alphabet no embedded spaces that is space between characters no reserve words like date time add compute multiply subtract and there should be no special characters like dollar hyphen hash these things so every variable should start with an alphabet followed by any alphanumeric numbers okay that was about working storage section note uh, more fooling full names have to be used when you declare any variable that should be very uh, it should be declared very minor for example it should if I am working with an employee employee database or uh, something else so in order to declare a variables related to employee organization so first my uh, variable should be like employee number EMP number EMP name EMP designation see you can you can look at here like it is giving a meaningful EMP stands for EMP yeah, employee number number name so it's so whenever you declare any variable it should be very meaningful so to discuss more about uh, the next topic is what are the different data types in uh, COBOL like in, in, in C, C++, Java, .NET or uh, any other programming language so we have different data types over here so in the same way for COBOL we have uh, uh, different data types so the first one is uh, it's a numeric 9 it stands for is, a, is for numeric data type and uh, and it is used to store numerical values and it is used to store digits okay what is the next data type data type is alphabets it is for alphabets it is used to store only an alphabets yes you might be having a question can we store both numeric and alphabet yes we have an option we have another variable called alpha numeric 
it can store it is it is for alphanumeric yes if you want to store any uh, if you want to store uh, sign values positive and negative values yes we have another variable called yes mm, it is for sign it may be negative or positive right what are the other variables in order to accept uh, decimal values yes we have v we use v or p for decimal values yeah these are all the different data types which we use in COBAR program. One is to recap again. Nine. It is used for numeric data types and it is used to store only a numeric values. A. It is for alphabets. X. It is for alphanumeric as it is for sign, minus or plus, V or P for decimal values. Right. Okay. For example, uh, let's for example for declaration of this I can declare if I want to store a 5 bytes of value uh, with only a numeric then I can store it as 9 of 5 9 of 5 or I can give this 1 2 3 4 5 and this way I can declare it so you might be uh, in the important point here is it can accept the maximum the maximum length of it is 18 bytes so maximum it can we can enter the value range is 9 of 18 so this is the mind 1 is a minimum and 18 is a maximum the same way for alphabets for, de for declaring an alphabets yes you have to declare in the same way for say accepting a single character or accepting a 5 character like you can declare either this one or with a of 5 here the maximum characters it can accept is a of 35535. 35535 is the range maximum it can accept. So the same way is for alphanumeric. Alphanumeric also it can accept both numeric and non numeric values. For example, x of 5 you can declare it. Then the, the max is x of 35535. Three is a maximum okay in the same way to declare the sign negative or positive values you can declare it as 9 of 5 uh, for declaring a v a v is uh, used for decimal well lies within the data or outside of the data okay and whereas p is used it uh, if decimal uh, outside of data either before value or after value for example, I can give you for V uh, 9 of 3, 9 of 3, V 9 of 2. So the output would be like 234.56 when I declare decimal values. So in uh, I am expected to have the decimal values when do uh, when I compute some calculation. So uh, if you are expecting those values, so you, know, you need to declare the variable with 9 of 3, V, 9 of 2. So, okay. So, mm, the same way, you can, uh, it can be, if you want to have only a decimal values, so if you are expecting only decimal values, then you can declare with P, uh, 9 of 3. So, the suppose it is, uh, the output is like dot, uh, 458 458 so if you are accept if you are expected to have the values in such a way so you need to go for p it depends upon your your decision making or it, it depends upon your requirement yes so this was about the da different data types we have it the first one is 9 is for numeric data type uh, it's uh, it's for a is for alpha base x is for alpha numerics s is for sign v or p for decimal values so nothing more uh, next one is for picture class so mostly you will be coming across uh, while coding the COBAR program you will come across these words very very crucially and uh, so to avoid the confusion further let's be clarity upon what is exactly the picture class it is uh, it is used to specify data type length of data length for data types so it is used to specify data type length 
this is used to specify data the length for data names a, uh, a picture clause should be coded after data name and before data type comma separated by space okay what is exactly a picture class it is used to specify data type length for data names a picture class should be coded for data name before comma before data types and separated by space for example if I give the example then it will be clarified so my variable name is employee number so how do we declare the variables in COBOL so my variable name is employee number what I said it is used to specify data type length for data name a picture class should be coded uh, coded after data names yes after data name I would be coding picture class and before data type right my data type is uh, 9 of 10 suppose I want to accept uh, the 9 of 10 bytes so this is the way we declare and uh, these are separated by spaces employee number is separated by space picture class is separated by space so this is where this is how we declare a, uh, declare a variable in cobar program so, let's, uh, mm, so how do we declare the variable for alphanumeric yes the same name for example for employee number picture class x of 20 okay for here means the, the employee number which is class x of 20 so the same way you can go for employee description which is class a of 20 yes the same way you can declare any other variables and so on so this was about the picture class so what's our next one so still I mean we are not yet complete with the complete variable declaration in this so in order to complete with the variable definitions you, you should also be aware of level numbers this is a very important to declare a, vari a variable uh, to declare a variable so what is level numbers level numbers uh, level numbers are system defined two digit numbers which are of different types okay the range is like 0 1 comma 0 2 comma 0 3 so on to 49 and we have another number like 77 88 and 66 so these are the different level numbers which we which we would be using in order to declare a variable uh, level numbers are system defined two digit numbers which are of different types 0 1 0 2 0 3 up to 49 then 77 88 66 these are the special variable numbers 77 88 and 66 level numbers what is what is the uses of this level number level numbers are used to organize data names in mem memory level numbers are used to organize data names in memory how here now we would discuss about how to declaring a variable how exactly the complete variable declaration will be done in COBOL any variable to be declared must be having level numbers comma data names comma picture class and what is the other one data type so in order to declare a variable any variable to be declared must be having level number data type picture class data sorry data names picture class and data types oh let's go ahead and look at let's go ahead and record about how how do we declare a variable okay and the very very important note uh, we need to look at here is uh, level number must be either 0 1 or 77 this is very important while we declare a variable okay let's uh, let me tell about sample variable declaration okay 
so 0 1 EMP number it's uh, every variable declaration to start with the level number followed by data name then picture class then a data type so this is way this is how we declare a variable in this right okay uh, that is that's all about uh, today's video 3 so to recap the session what are the things we discussed today is uh, what is data and what is data division what are data types what are picture class what are level numbers declaring a variable and a sample variable declaration thank you for watching this video i will be coming up with more videos have a good day